Hey guys, I just start here back with another video. Well, most of the devices which are available now are running Android 6.0 as the primary operating system right out of the box. But Google is too damn fast this year. They have managed to release two new operating system in the same year. And talking about Android 7.0, this is a cool update from Android. A lot of things to explore inside operating system. And this video, you're not going to see a single tip or a single trick. Here I have more than 10 useful tips and hidden tricks to make your Android 7.0 device uh, way more cooler so with no further ado let's unwrap the mystery of android 7.0 First, let us start with the home screen. On the home screen, on the top, not only on the home screen, everywhere, on the top of every Android device, you have a panel called as Quick Access Panel. Well, this Quick Access Panel has a lot of icons. Uh, using these icons, you can access some features, some things quickly, like turning on Wi-Fi, turning on Bluetooth, turning on airplane mode to prevent people from bothering you and things like that so the first thing is leading directly into the settings option just by long pressing on icons if you want to go into the Wi-Fi settings then just long press the Wi-Fi icon it will lead you directly into the Wi-Fi settings and same in all the cases and the next trick this lets you to edit the icons in the quick access panel you can just do it by just clicking on the pencil icon on the top of the quick access panel if you want to add a new icon you can drag the icon from the drawer to the panel and if you want to remove icon then just drag that icon from the panel to the drawer that's it so that's it with the quick access panel tips now we have some things related to notifications to make things easier android 7.0 has a feature to do a lot of things with these notifications if you want to block a notification from a particular app like if you do not want to see notifications from really disturbing things then just long press and it will show you three options do not show notifications if you click that mm -hmm. then it will permanently block those apps from popping up for the notifications and that is another thing which lets you perform operations even inside the notification well, if you receive a mail then that mail will be displayed as a notification in the notification panel and if you swipe it just a single swipe will display the operations which you can perform using the notifications we have a bonus thing a bonus trick here this is not a new trick in stock android 7.0 now you can have two separate wallpapers for your home screen and lock screen so that's it with the home screen and now we have an entirely new feature and this thing is called a search from anywhere or one tap search now this thing is newly added in android 7.0 only this lets you to search from anywhere around the screen if you are inside an app and if you want to search about the contents inside the app then all you need to do is just long press on the home key and it will automatically detect the things which are present inside the app and it will display the google search links for those things i still need to explore a lot of things in this and there is another feature inside this one tap search which lets you to select a particular text from inside an app this will actually take a screenshot of the app in the display area and it lets you to select the text and you can search the meaning of the text or what the text is and things like that so this is a heavily useful feature make use of it and the next thing which comes to play is uh, switching between apps switching between apps is not that difficult you can close the app and reopen the app again from the previous state or you can click on that overview button to view the recent apps but in Android Nougat Android 7.0 you have a hidden trick to switch between apps now I open a lot of apps here and if I click on a particular app and if I open that app then that app will be my primary window and if I want to switch from that app to the next app in the recent app stack I'm confusing I know uh, then you need to just double tap on on that overview key uh, if you double tap on that overview key then it will automatically close this app or it will suspend the app and it will open the app which is behind that app in the recent app stack it's simple i uh, just double tap on the overview key and it will open the app now after a long wait this feature is added 
only in Android 7.0 and that feature is nothing but the multi-window feature, the multi-window mode. The multi-window mode can be triggered by long pressing on the overview key or the recent windows key. If you long press on that then that will change to multi-window mode and one window will be open at the top and the other window will be displayed below and you can select whatever app you want to be displayed in both the windows. And if you want to close a window just uh, long press on the overview key again or just uh, swipe that tab which separates both the windows simple I'm using this for some things like browsing using Google Chrome Google Chrome has an option to switch a tab from one window to another window and if other apps like Google Chrome add this feature to them then those things will also be useful in multi window mode so that's it with the basic tips and tricks and now let us move on to the tips and tricks related to the settings section when coming to the settings section, we have lots and lots of new things added to the settings and options inside settings. Before going inside the options, there is an option which is added inside the settings home section. On the top of all the settings, you see a new bar called the suggestions bar where all the suggestions will be displayed or all the recent activities will be displayed. In case if you turn on do not disturb mode or silent mode or your battery saver or network saver, then all these things will be displayed in the suggestions section as a reminder. In case if you have forgot to turn off silent mode, then when you go inside settings, then that will be displayed and you can turn it off from there itself. It is useful in most of the cases and um, next to that thing, next to the suggestions bar, we have a navigation pane added inside the settings option. Uh, if you are inside network settings or Wi-Fi settings and if you want to go inside display settings, then you need not click back twice or thrice. Go into display settings instead, just uh, swipe the navigation pane, click on the settings wherever you want to go in. And I am inside this display settings for a reason. There is a new thing added inside the display settings. Now in ancient times we are allowed to modify only the font size but with android nugget you can modify both the things uh the adjust display option inside the settings menu or the settings section allows you to simultaneously adjust both the icon size and the font size um when you adjust this all the icons will realign change its size and even the on-screen keys will be modified as per your definition if you are having small hands then switching from default mode to large mode might help you that's it with the display section now I'm going to move on to some optimization related tricks when coming to optimization tricks we have two optimizations one for optimizing your battery and the other for network this battery optimizer in Android Nougat is somewhat improved using that you can block some apps from secretly consuming more battery juice behind your head and this will save some of your battery juice and the next thing is data saver this data saver will block apps from uh, syncing background data without your knowledge you turn on network and most of the apps like play store and lots of apps nowadays consume background data and turning on this will prevent those from accessing background data so that's it with the optimization tricks and now let us skip on to the next thing uh, that is the system UI tuner. This thing is not a new one, it's actually present in Android 6.02. But here inside Android 7 system UI tuner, you have some additional options. This system UI tuner can be triggered by clicking on the gear icon in the quick access panel. If you click or long press that for 8 to 10 seconds, it will rotate and it will trigger the system UI tuner. Inside which you can uh, virtually edit apps just by turning on and off that switcher button instead of clicking on edit and dragging and dropping and other features like uh, changing the do not disturb mode or triggering the do not disturb modes using volume keys can also be done inside system UI tuner if you want to switch to silent mode then press the down volume key which will automatically switch to silent mode and the next thing inside system UI tuner is the power notification the power notification is nothing but uh, setting different notifications and ranks to different notifications some apps will not let you change these things but other system or user apps or pre-installed apps lets you change these types of notifications uh, these are some of the features which are inside system UI tuner and these are the most important tricks and tips I am aware of if you know some things then share it in the comments a shocking thing here is they have actually removed the Android Easter egg game like the game little android jumping over lollipops and hitting those pops and dying but that game is not here inside this android 7 easter egg 
that's disappointing so that is the video i hope you enjoyed the video if you did so you know what to do if you didn't so you know what to do and if you have any suggestions leave it as comments and if you want to stay connected or if you want to enjoy more videos like this subscribe and thanks for watching guys i will hopefully meet you guys and girls in the next one until then it's bye from my sisters bye